Hey guys, it's Greg Christensen. Grand V Livestock here. We're just uh, I'm just getting ready to put out some more bucks today. Um, thought you might just like to see them up close a little bit here and go with us. So I'm going to put them out in a herd that you've seen on different videos. There's uh, I don't know, close to 300 in that herd over there. We're putting 12 mature bucks and uh, six or seven of these little bucks we just weaned this year uh, just to have them out and give them something to do. We don't need to have them around here having to feed them all winter. So we'll uh, We'll load them up in the trailer and we'll take them on over there. Well, here we are, loaded up and uh, we're gonna load a four-wheeler in case we need to bring the, the doe herd to them so they'll find them, get everybody settled in there. And uh, so we're gonna load up and head, head to the pasture. All right, so here we are uh, over this pasture we got the does at. Um, I think I'm gonna go down there and bring the, some of those does up here a little bit closer before I turn the bucks out. so the bucks can find them right away you always got to be careful about your you always got to be careful about your guard dogs when you turn new animals out like these bucks they're going to want to chase them around a little bit check them out and uh so you got to be on your toes sometimes i chase them away with the four wheeler if they get too rough with them uh one time i didn't have the four wheeler with me and i they were chasing a buck. The time I uh, went back there, they had actually killed that buck. Um, so that can happen. I mean, it's only just happened that once, and I don't anticipate to happen again. So uh, let's see how it goes. All right, so hey, we got them up here, and they're curious enough just to come on up here to the trailer. We got four guard dogs in here looking over things. Okay, so let's go in here and put these guys out. This is one of my favorite things to do, putting out bucks. Uh, oh, they just, I mean, they go to work immediately. I don't know if you really have that many does in heat or if they're just trying to chase down, see who they can get a hold of here. But uh, it's always kind of fun to turn them out. It's a beautiful day here. It must be 65 degrees here all of a sudden today. So yeah, now I remember telling you the other day, and I'm gonna stress it again, if you have several herds, don't put all your bucks out in every herd all at once. It took me a few years of having some bad weather during kitten season to figure this out, but we like to stagger them, I don't know, three days, four days to a week between herds. And that way, if you hit some bad weather, you don't have all your herds in the heart of kitten season at the same time. And so... Usually in the springtime, bad weather will be gone in two, three days, and it'll warm back up. So we spread them out. <clears throat> so if we do hit bad weather, we can concentrate on checking that one pasture, put our efforts into that, and not have to worry. Maybe the other pastures weren't kidding yet, or they've already gone through the critical time of kidding season. And so uh, that's just a little tidbit for you um i don't know you're probably smarter than i am but it took me a few years to 
actually think about that and think of what I was doing. I hit a few snowstorms and cold rainy days in April, and now we we wait and don't we don't kid till uh, May and even lamb. We just start in May. Um, your best market to sell is January, February, March, so you don't have to worry about those kids being big enough for an October market or a November market. Uh, they're born in May. They'll be plenty big enough for January, February when you want them to be bigger. I see a lot of people that kids real early and their their kids are ready for market in August, and it's just not a good market in August, guys. Um, if it is a good market in August, it'll be a better market in December, January, February, I'll tell you. So, um, And even after that, it's just that time February... You know, March and April roll around. I'm tired of them. I want to get them gone because we're about ready to get lined up for kidding again. So we put uh, <clears throat> some of those little yearling bucks in here with them just to get them out, out of our hair. And uh, they can just be out here with the does. If they breed some, fine. But I don't really count on them for, for breeding anything. So there you have it. That's the last of the bucks we're going to put out this year. Um, we've got some, still got some bucks in the pen. What we'll do is, oh, three weeks now or so, we'll take those bucks. There's some bucks that were limping. Seems like they always go to limping uh, when you want them, want to use them. And uh, so we'll take them out. We may bring one or two over here. And what that'll do, they'll still breed some, some does if there's some, still some does that hadn't got bred yet. But you introduce a new buck, and even if he's a limping buck, and even if he's not going to breed, you know, as many as he should, it'll stimulate these bucks that's been here. Maybe they've got lazy laying around, and uh, they've been out here for a while. It'll stimulate them, because all of a sudden there's a new a new man in town, and so uh, they'll get up and get busy again a lot of times. So save those bucks. Uh, you know, maybe they're not fit for, for breeding a whole lot, but... Put them out later. Uh, we'll probably come back this herd maybe three weeks. Got a couple other places that we'll put some too. Same kind of a deal. Three weeks is your your heat cycle, and uh, or you may have a place and maybe it's got a a hundred does there, and you got one really good buck that you really like. We'll put him out there first and get as many kids as you can out of him, and then maybe after one heat cycle, bring in a couple more or so or however you want to do it but then the first ones you you have born you'll know is out of that that better buck the one you like the best so just a couple things to think about uh, yeah it's uh if you don't think about all that stuff i didn't think about much of that until i had goats for several years i wish i had known it up front so hey it's a beautiful day um, yeah, these these does are ready to meet the bucks, and vice versa, I'm for sure. So, y'all have a have a good and, and a happy day. Amen.